going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Trick Tens. This is part two of this brand new well-built 1652. We got our rear bench seat hatches installed. We put a floor in here. This thing turned out really good. We also got our recessed foot pedal tray cut out and reinforced on the front deck. This episode, we're gonna be installing the Garmin Force trolling motor up on the bow and we'll be hooking up his drafts, running all the wiring. Let's get back to work. All right guys, so this is a six gauge marine wire. Um, what I'm gonna do is run the trolling motor with this. I also have a circuit breaker here. This is a 60 amp breaker. So with these side panels on here, it's really a pain in the ass to run these wires because obviously it covers everything up. And with this live well sitting here, you cannot get any wires back here behind it, they'll be exposed unless you go through the side room, which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, I use this fish tape right here, a steel fish tape. It's got a little hook on the end and it's rolled up. So what I'm gonna do is keep the pressure on it and try to ride that groove all the way up and then pull it out through the recessed foot pedal tray in the front. And that's how it's done. That one was extremely easy. I've had a lot of times, it's not that easy. As you can see inside of this hatch, our cable's coming in there. I might break this wire off here and put his breaker switch up on this wall right here to keep it out of the weather. That cable is ran completely up the side and it's completely covered. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I need to figure out exactly the angle I'm gonna mount this bracket for the trolling motor up here. I really hate mounting them on the side because a lot of people like it in the center. It tends to pull the boat better if the trolling motor is deployed close to the center. We don't want too much of the head of the trolling motor sticking past the side of the boat because it's gonna get hit against the dock and you know people are gonna walk into it and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we can't get the whole thing to sit inside of it without kicking it way over and it looking stupid. I'm gonna get this thing mounted onto a custom bracket because where it's sitting now, you can tell this piece on top is only five inches wide. So if I mounted it completely onto this bow of the boat, it would sit like that. That would put this thing hanging about 14 inches off the side of the hull. But we're gonna kick it back somewhere around this area. That's gonna put him stick, only hanging out about three or four inches. This is gonna be a completely custom bracket. I'm gonna make this out of probably 3 16 thick, 50-52 um, aluminum. And I will weld it right to the bow and we'll attach it to the deck. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing made up and we'll try to get her installed. Let's get back to work. You see what I made here? Very simple. Two bends, notch the end out. It's cut on a taper.
I got it cleaned up and I got a coat of paint on it. This is not exactly the same color paint and it is still wet. It will dry a little darker, but the well-built paint is actually like $25 a can and the customer did not supply any paint. I basically just painted this because I wanted to do it before I installed the trolling motor. The trolling motor will cover a majority of this and you really won't even see it once it's all said and done. Let's get back to work. All right, so one thing you gotta make sure you don't forget before you put this trolling motor on, or you will be taking it back off, is to put the safety strap in here. Uh, it's very simple, it's got bolts on the sides you take out, the plastic part comes off, put this in there and sleeve it in. That way, the trolling motor is stowed, then you got the Velcro strap to hold it tight. If you do bolt this down without it, you will be taking it back off, I know from experience. to install these two gas pistons here there's one on either side um, these help this trolling motor immensely on deploy and stow it's got a uh, little metal rod here it has to fit into this hole on the plastic piece you have to line that up there you go then you take these screws that come in the bag labeled C and attach them. Right. Same exact thing on the opposite side with the other gas piston. Bag C has four screws in it, two for each side. It's that easy. Now we're going to put the head on here. So now we're going to attach the trolling motor head. Um, we use bag D. This is going to be for our top bolt. It's pretty simple. Must be lined up perfectly. All right, it's a very snug fit. You get that piece in there. Very simple though. Once it's in there, just got your washer, your bolt, tighten it up on either side. I'm just going to put these in finger tight to hold it until I get the lower pin in. Alright, so our lower pin is in bag B. Same deal. Just got to line this thing up perfectly. Alright, so this little clip that comes with the Garmin Force trolling motor, it's very simple. It's got a big loop and a small loop. Small loop sits on the small wire, big loop sits on the big wire. Put it on there like that. You just attach it into these holes here and on the bottom. These small screws that they give you. All right, so the transducer and the power wire are connected here and here on both sides of this channel sleeve on the starboard side of the trolling motor. Now what they're gonna do is hook back around. There's a little bracket that goes into this slot and has a screw in this top hole. But before I do that, I'm gonna have to drill a hole up here. I put a little starter hole in there. I'm gonna run the hole saw through there. I'm gonna put this big grommet in there. That way we can run his wires through here back up underneath the deck.
Tow motor looks sick. Installed. Put these little clips on here. They give you like four extra of these. I put one there, one here and here, going into our hole. And I also threw an extra one up here just to hold this cable together. Um, that's pretty much it as far as mounting this troll motor. Obviously I gotta put the prop on, but that's pretty simple. Now we're gonna hook up the power and get this foot pedal tray installed. Let's open up this foot pedal, see what this thing is all about. Got a template, this is a standard power cable, just like all of the Garmin units do. The cool thing about this foot pedal is the fact that it's actually a working foot pedal. Unlike the Altera, it has a flat foot pedal. This one, you can know which position your trolling motor head is facing based off the position your foot pedal is facing. All right, so this is pretty cool. They give you this with the Garmin trolling motor. This has the whole pattern for the foot pedal. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bolt this foot pedal into our recessed foot pedal tray because the foot pedal itself is pretty light and it doesn't need to be moving around anyways. <laughs> All right, so that lines up pretty good. I can make that work. I'm gonna have to cut one more hole in our recessed foot pedal tray. It's gonna be for this power cable that routes right off the face. We're gonna have to cut a hole right here and put a grommet in there so that power cable can go back up underneath the deck and connect to the battery. Go ahead and put our starter hole in here. I am gonna put a good size hole in here, inch and a half. That way, later on, if you want to upgrade, I'll have plenty of room to bring in more wires or electronics. side of the boat because I need to have power for his foot pedal and I also need to have power for the Garmin fish finder unit that's going to be going on the graph bridge above the recessed foot pedal tray. Hopefully this side goes just as smoothly as the other side. Lucky fish tape.
All right guys, so the rig is completed with stage one of this build. It's ready to get out on the water. We got both of our back hatches installed. Really nice. Only thing I got left to do is put some decals on here. We got our trolling motor mounted on a custom bracket. We got our custom recessed foot pedal tray and one of my custom graph bridges. This thing is all set up and ready to go. Alright, uh, 